Yo, what is going on, guys? The Shooting Star Sheriff is here, and boy, we talking about My Hero Academia, but we're going to talk about... I'm going to talk about, uh, I think it's going to be like 197 to 200, so I'm going to, going back to the manga review, sorry guys about the wait, I know you've been waiting for them, but now they're they're back and they're better than ever, I know, well, you know, as far as like, you know, me talking about them, you know, that's, that's kind of like the better than ever part, but if you guys are pumped to hear me talk about some My Hero Academia, go on ahead, show some love, show some support, and um... We're gonna get on into this because I mean at this point I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ramble too long about certain parts. I'm just gonna talk about like just kind of like my thoughts about everything that's going on with the class 1A versus class uh uh class 1A versus a uh, class uh is it 1B or is it 2B? I forget or class A versus class B. That's basically what's going on. Um, as far as you know, everyone kind of showing off like how far they've come. Um, and this is kind of like a cult of, like like a like a it, it's kind of like a i want to say i forget i can't remember how to say the word but it's kind of like a collection i'll say that it's kind of like a uh an amalgamation oh that's the word i wanted to use an amalgamation of kind of like all the characters and like everything they've learned from the beginning of the series up until now um so like the the, the first round you kind of had like i'm gonna break them off like you had like asui and um her team with denki and everybody um who and in the teams like the, the way they're setting it up it's kind of like a game of like cat and mouse where it, it's kind of like cat and mouse on both sides because two teams get set up into like two different like sections of this uh arena or this arena field and basically what they have to do is they they basically have to kind of like capture one another um uh, which is kind of cool because like both teams are kind of aware of the other team's quirks and stuff like that because uh, Class 1A um, and Class B have, you know, have interacted, you know, with each other before. So it's, it, it's really cool. But, like, at the same time, we're getting to see, we're getting to see, like, different team-ups like Shinso. Um, Shinso, which uh, we haven't seen him since the sports festival. Um, he makes He makes his, like, kind of reappearance here. And um, he's got like the bandages, like Izawa and everything, and and he's you know he's learning how to like he really wants to use his quirk to be a hero, um, and you can see that like he's wearing this like face mask uh, that lets him change like the way his voice sounds, so like he can like brainwash people easier. I thought that was a really cool mechanic to give him like a mask like that to do that. Um, that was really really neat. Um, and it's really cool to see like how these different kinds of people would like work together. Like also we with like Denki, what well, well, with Kaminari and like Kirishima. Um, you, it's it's really cool because they have to learn how to like work together, but then at the same time like they have to like capture the other like the other teammates of the other team, and then the same team has to do the same things back. So um, I really like how it's progressing out, and it's kind of cool like how they're using these experience because like class 1a has like experience like when it comes to like crisis situations because they've like they've been there for the usj incident and they've been there for like every time shiz has hit the fan class a has always been there but like class b has been in the background they've been they've been getting better and they've been slowly increasing and getting better as a unit as a, as a class as well so they're kind of like squaring off to kind of see like who's really the better class um which is which is cool and i and i really want to see like how the fights like how they're gonna like move forward um like having sue you like use her camouflage was really neat um her using her um ah what was it she used like her I, no, she used like her. It wasn't poisonous, but she used like she basically like used like her like her frog mucus to like cover up like her teammates to like to hide from like uh, that one dude's quirk. I forget his name now, but he's the guy who transforms into a beast. Uh, I'm probably gonna pop his picture over or something. I don't know. I'll do something. Um, getting to, just kind of getting to see that was like really really neat and um. You know, having Suyu kind of be the brains of that operation. Um, and then, like, it's cool because, like, at the end of each round, like, they kind of get a lot of learning 
like Kirishima, Kirishima really knows that like his quirks, his quirk is only ever really good for a slugfest. Um, and everyone just kind of like learns a little bit more. Um, and then we get into, and then we get into like the second round, which the second round is more like, um, I want to, I want to call it like team Kendo versus like team Momo. Um, which Kendo is my girl. She's my favorite, my hero. Girl. Okay. Maybe it's because like she uses like karate and she like dresses like, a, I don't know. I, I like Kendo. Kendo is girl. Kendo is my Kendo is my girl. But anyway, <laughs> that aside. Um, but we get to see um Kendo and Mom um Team Kendo and Team Momo um go at it for like they're like the next bout per se. They're like the next like group of teams, and um it's cool because you get to see like Kendo and Momo kind of have this talk like hey they always pair us up together no matter what which is funny because like. It's kind of like I never really realized it, but like Momo, Momo and Kendo have been paired up almost like all the time. Anytime, like for like uh, not for the license exam. I'm trying to think for but for like the internships and like they've always been together, which is funny because they're both like the class presidents, um, basically of each you know of each class uh but they're, they're they're basically both like the brains of the operations when it comes to like you know smart they're very smart you know women and they kind of like lead you know they they're they're very strong leader type characters so it was you know it was cool to see them you know kind of like you know what i've always wanted to duke it out with you you know because we've always been together you know and she's like i consider you to be a lot better than me so it's you know it's cool that she gets to really test herself and it's it's funny because in the beginning you get to see you get to see like like as you're reading through you get to really see like how much she actually is like a tactician and she like comes up with plans and like it's kind of like they're they're both like very good tacticians um like just like the whole way like how kendo is using everybody's quirk to their advantage to to make you know to make the situation you know more in her odds or more in her favor and you i mean and you see momo counterattack her plans with like having um oh, i i can't I'm, I'm gonna butcher his name but he's the guy with the naval laser i can't like i think his name is ayoma ayama i i'm sorry if i'm butchering it right now but having him shoot laser beams all over the place um creating light uh so vanta black can't like he can't like um go through like the go through the shadows of like the dark pipes and stuff um which he traveled through uh tokoyami's dark shadow which was amazing i thought that was dope i thought that was so dope um and then my boy tokoyami hashtag favorite character um seeing to get kind of seeing him develop a little more because like as much as I love Tokoyami, this kid never gets any development. So I'm so glad that he finally got some development. Um, as far as like his internship and like the things he went through with Hawks, and and it was cool. He learns how he learned how to use his quirk in a new way. He gets a uh, dark shadow fallen black angel, which allows him to fly. Um, which allows him to fly, which. I'm, I'm gonna say it again. Hawks is such a dope character. I need to do. I, I have a discussion video I need to do about Hawks in a second, but I need to talk about Hawks because Hawks is amazing. Um, but that's for a different video. But kind of seeing like how these characters are growing, and now like you know, Kendo used this. I forget. I'm, I'm forgetting names, guys. I'm so 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 sorry. Um, but she uses the one girl with the mushroom quirk to kind of like you know grow mushrooms everywhere so like they can't like this in turn like they can't like get their location and, and and you know now it's squared up now it's kendo versus momo and it's just like every like everybody's really like bringing their best and i think it's really cool to see like these rivalries build up but they're more like friendly rivalries especially with like you know momo and kendo because they've been around each other and they've like you know they know each other you know pretty well at this point so it's just really cool to see where it's gonna go from there but i'm gonna leave it off there guys um hopefully you guys have 
enjoyed me coming back with the uh, with the manga chapter reviews. Je definitely love that. I <laughs> definitely love that I'm talking to you guys about them again. And I will catch you guys um, in the next video where I catch up on like the next like f three or four, <laughs> three or four or five batches of uh, chapters, and we get to talk about them here. But anyway, I'm going to catch you guys out in the next one. Peace.